number eight of Text Nation TV. I'd like to welcome you back. My name is Rusty G. And I'm um, Alan. And I appreciate all the comments we've been getting from our episodes. Um, viewership's going up. We appreciate that. So be sure to tell your friends. Pass it on, yep. please. We're averaging like 75 views a week. And, and we're in Canada. <laughs> and we are in Canada. And, you know, hey. We'll try to get a sponsorship maybe on down the road from somebody local or if anybody you know that can sponsor the show, let us know. You know? Yeah. Definitely, definitely love so. it. So, uh, this week we got some news for you. Guess what? Coming up maybe later by the end of this week, the 30th, about around about that time, white iPhone, the unicorn of the tech world. That's yeah. right. If you have not seen or heard any of news of this, what it is is, well, you obviously know what the white, or you know what the iPhone 4 is. It's black. We've all seen it. We all know yeah. it. It's been out since last year. Everybody's got them. Verizon's got them now. AT&T's got them. Everybody and your mom's got them. We got it. The thing is, they were announcing last year that there was going to be a white iPhone. Then it came around September, and it was like, oh, we'll it have even, it. It was even on AT&T's website for yeah. a second. You, oh, it was yeah. an option to choose. They, I, I remember that. I think it came around September, and they were like, uh, we'll have it out by Christmas. And then Christmas came around. They're like, oh, we'll have it next year, maybe like February. And that came around. They're like, uh, we have the new MacBook Air. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was iPad 2. Throwing things. You yeah, know. everything else just kind of got up in the you know arms about it. And it was, it was crazy, but, you know, it became the unicorn of the tech world. So now, supposedly, and this is all rumored, so maybe yeah. later this week, by the time you're watching this, there will be a white iPhone. So check it out, AT&T.com or Apple.com slash iPhone. Look and see, there might be a white iPhone out there for you. Or Vodafone.co.uk. Yes, because I do know, we saw that. Because, <laughs> I mean, the whole, the whole idea is the white iPhone could come out now and we completely forget about, mm, I don't know, Apple iPhone 5, because, that's we what Apple does. Yes. It's like, hey, iPhone 5 is over here. Let's look at that. You know, rumors about screen size, you know, and you see them, you know, bigger. One has tapered, one, you know, and all of a sudden, white iPhone's over here. And we're like, oh, yeah, it is. Oh, crap, is that a Nokia? And we weren't paying attention. <laughs> And the whole iPhone 5 thing is now. Yeah, we, we lose track of the what the iPhone 5 is going to be because we're all going to be so mesmerized by the white iPhone. So, But if, if it does come out, hopefully soon I'll get one and I'll pass over my current black one to Alan here and he can upgrade from my old 3G. So we'll, uh, we'll be up to date soon, won't we? <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. But that's why that's how we have a show. That, exactly. <laughs> that's why tech we never, have a show. Check never ends. Well... More uh, Apple news and iPhone news as well. If you haven't heard, uh, there's rumors that you're being tracked, and of course we all know that if our pictures are taken and things like that, you know, everything's geotagged. Everything's right? geotagged. Everything's geotagged. Everything's geotagged right. But two scientists from the UK have learned that not only geotracked, but we're geotracked. How many times a day? It didn't say how many. I don't think it said how many times, but it just said a lot of points during the day. Yeah, like probably like a hundred. So we'll pull up a map right here, as you can see from New England all the way, wherever, wherever they were traveling, they were uh, dot on the map each, uh, every spot or step they took. So um, a lot of people are now kind of, you know, even, even though, even though they're on four square telling me, oh, <laughs> I was at Taco, I'm at Taco Bell eating a taco. Um, mm, I love oatmeal, it's winter. And, that other one that you use. <laughs> check in places on Facebook, yeah, check, check Foursquare, uh, you know. So, you know, to me it wasn't Goala. Yeah, to me it was like, why are they wrapping arms? Like, you're already telling me where you're at <laughs> every single day of the week, <laughs> every minute. <laughs> but I don't care if you're buying shoes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but not to get off track there, but. You know, now people are like, hey, you know, I don't want them to know that much. Even the congressman, there was a congressman, I'll throw up a picture right here. There was a congressman who said, hey, Steve, Al Franken. Yeah. Saturday Night Live stand up comedian, Al Franken. <sighs> Holy crap. <laughs> I mean, this is how big this thing got. It was, it was nuts. And it, one Mac Rumor, uh, Mac Rumor user actually emailed Steve. Here, as they I'll, always do. I'll pull up the email right here. And this is funny because, you know, as Steve is the CEO, he gets so, to say... He's sitting at his uh, royal typewriter like I am. It's like, Dear Steve, 
Could you please explain the necessity of passive location tracking tool embedded in my iPhone? It's kind of uh, unnerving knowing that you know my exact location is being recorded all times, even though he's probably on Foursquare. Maybe you should set, shed some light on this uh, before I switch to a droid. Yeah, right. He's, he's, not, he's not switched to a droid. They don't track me. Yes, they do. <laughs> and uh, Steve was like, um, Matter oh, right. yes, they do. Droid does track, is what he was talking about. But he says, we don't track anyone. The info circulating around is false, sent from my iPhone. Yeah. But to get it, to get, uh, I don't know if that was, was that officially from Steve? Well, uh, yeah, and see, that's that's the general consensus is that it is from Steve, because he does that every now and again. Yeah. Every now and again, he'll actually reply to a customer email. But I, I'm with you on that. I mean, that guy probably will not switch to a droid. He He's probably on Foursquare, Gowalla, all the check-in services by Facebook and or whatever, geotag his pictures so you know where he is anyway. Yeah. It's just, I, I guess, the unnerving fact that someone was so easily able to find that information and put it out on a map and see it. It was like, hey, 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 hey. It's like um, these girls, mostly, mostly girls, you know, take pictures of themselves like nude or something with their phone and... All of a sudden it gets leaked out and they're like, oh no, what happens if it gets out? If you put it on one of these, it's going to get out. So <laughs> stop. You know, it, when you, once you see it, it's like, oh, they can see me. Yeah, it, it's, it's the digital thing. I mean, once you get it digital, you might as well give it up. You're online. It doesn't matter. Somebody's going to put it on somewhere, whether yeah. it's a, an adult website or it's, you know, like these two scientists throwing up on a map that you've been everywhere. So... Shut up. I mean, you're, obviously. You're going to be tracked. Yeah, exactly. More Apple news. It's going to be in this Apple centric episode. Sounds like iTunes is finally coming to the cloud. They're going to be bringing along Warner Music, I think. And, uh, and don't quote me on this on the second one because I cannot remember the second one. I want to say Sony BMG or somewhere along in those lines. Yeah. That they're bringing online those companies. And they're actually doing it with the grace of these companies to say, hey, yeah, we'll let you stream our music online from the iTunes service. Unlike a few weeks ago, Amazon, who started up their Amazon Cloud service, it's an online digital locker, as it were, so yeah. that you can stream your music. And what really sucks, though, is I was wanting to get it, but it doesn't work for iPhone devices. There's a workaround to do it. I've seen it, but it's it's like going into Safari, logging in, and going into the digital file. I'd much rather just have an in-app thing where I just hit play and it works, like it does on the iTunes. Should have been a digital locker from the get -go. inception. So, because you know your computer breaks down and it has your, all your iTunes and you didn't put it to some kind of external memory. Yeah, I mean, you've lost it. You know, it's. It sucks. I've lost a lot of music, a lot of movies because, you know... Actually, computers. you need to stop by my house on the way home. I have a whole crap ton of CDs that has your old music on it. But anyway, well, <laughs> we backed them up. But, you know, just laptops break, computers break, you know, things things happen. And if it was just available from some website, you know, encrypted, you know, some way... And it's great because, I mean, you can be on your iPod Touch, your iPhone, your iPad, any of your iDevices, Mac, whatever... And you don't have to worry about storing your music anymore because it's all in the cloud. Now, there's no price tag or anything to this just yet. I'm yeah. assuming they'll put this in their mobile me stuff mm -hmm. and you'll pay like the $99 that they have right now and you'll get that service. So it'll be a little less stressful for you having to keep up with your music because it's you're basically just paying for a license for you to be able to play that music anytime you want. Yeah. So maybe the price might even go down. This is this is just a prediction on my end. Maybe the price of the music might go down because you're no longer holding the music and you can't copy it because it's on their servers. So maybe it might bring the music down. You never know. I'm sure that was that's been a, a, a plan for a while just because of that purpose. That yeah. we can't you know take that song and you know copy it and send it away even though we purchased it, we purchased the right to listen to it for ourselves, and if we choose ourselves to ourselves uh, record <laughs> ourselves, then we should, but with that, price could go down. So, yeah. yeah, we'll see how it goes. But one less Apple thing, and one more gaming thing, because we haven't, we've done it. Yeah, have you seen our intro? Well, apparently we review games. <laughs> so, uh, let's throw one out there. If you own a Wii, and you realize that, man, 
this thing is starting to get behind because uh, with the PS3, you know, built in uh, Blu ray player and yeah. just very powerful device, uh, Xbox, Xbox Live. Yeah, all that connect. Yeah. People with the Wii's, all they got those little, like, um, Wii. Wii Moat. Wii Matron <laughs> cartoon things, <laughs> which I had one. Uh, and, um, I use it, I play Netflix. That's um, The only game I play with is Netflix. I'm pretty good at it. You should see my cue. But. The, the graphics quality, like when I go watch his uh, Xbox, you know, you can tell a big difference between the graphics quality of it. So that's what I'm looking for is, yeah, you know, an upgrade in graphics. Because so graphics. I don't think they do 720p. I think they do 480p out of that. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, my TV is a good TV, so it still looks good. But yeah. if it's a lower quality TV, you can really, you can really tell the difference. So yeah. uh, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, there's rumors it's supposed to be more powerful than the Xbox and the PS3. So... Yeah, they're supposed to be bringing it out in E3, which is not too far around the corner. We're looking at June. And we're looking for an invitation. <laughs> so if you want to send us an invitation, make sure you hit us up online. Twitter, at TextNationTV. You can also follow us online, TextNation.TV. And soon, as Facebook. requested, Facebook. I will put together a Facebook page, and I can start getting some likes and see who all's out there. Maybe you guys can join up on that. And maybe we'll foursquare it. Yeah, we're nah, new, <laughs> new. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll see you again for episode number nine. I'm out. I don't know what that was, but anyway, we're not I'm out. out. That's rusty. <laughs> I'm rusty. Anyway, we'll see you again for episode nine. God bless. What was that? I don't know. I stopped. <laughs>